Welcome to episode 14 of The Alec Hogg Show, a long-form audio biography where we delve into the lives of inspirational South Africans. Our guest in this episode is the Eastern Cape super entrepreneur, Adrian Gardner. There is much to learn from Gardner's story, mostly confirmation that when it comes to success in creating businesses, a motto like never say die trumps apparent brilliance every time. His global Mantis Hotel empire was built the hard way through pioneering, disruption and perspiration. And it was created after he'd lost everything in an economic recession that wiped out his entire portfolio of businesses. Going back, Adrian, you're actually from further north, born in Zambia. I was born in Chingola, then came down to Bulawayo because my father was a surveyor on the mines. I did a BCom degree, which in theory was three years. It took me seven years. So I did four years full time and I'd got to just over half the degree. And then I went and got a job at SPA in the accounts department. So while everybody else was enjoying their life, I went back at night to finish my degree. I managed to buy 50% of penguin pools. And that was the start of a new era. And then 1979 came. That was really the first real inflation. And that collapsed my house of cards. So in 1979, I lost everything and had to start again. When did Shamwari come onto the picture? Because if you, okay, so you're in the, the horse business, um, it's, yeah, it's so not too I've, far away from the, from the game business. Yeah, so now what happens is that I'm sitting with a bit of money, having sold Rudolfontein, the farm, and I said to myself, oh, you know, this is what I really want to do. I want my patch of Africa. Before I knew it, I had 11,000 hectares. And I said to myself, now, how the hell do I commercialize this? How can I get endorsements for what I'm doing? And, you know, I looked and looked and I really found the right guy it was a guy called Dr. Ian Player. He even gave me the name, the Mantis Collection. And That's he right. said to me, your properties are small. You let your general managers take power of it. Call it the Mantis Collection. And then we took that name and we created the acronym Man and Nature Together is Sustainable. When you look back on your life now, what might you have done differently on the one hand and secondly because you have been very entrepreneurial how would you answer a question on whether an entrepreneur is made or born i have a great saying i think is talk is cheap money buys a whiskey mm -hmm. so how do we monetize the talk you know how do i turn it into something that can be successful so i think my brain's always working in that way to say okay we've got a great vision but can we actually make it work practically now, is that not my entrepreneurial flair that's coming out to say, how do I make it work? It's been a wonderful journey. You've been listening to another Biz News production. Be sure to catch all our podcasts by subscribing to Biz News Radio on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, or by visiting biznews.com. I'm Alec Hogg. Until the next time, cheerio.